हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी 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 टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज़ ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाई लुक विजन ऐप सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज़ हाई लुक विजन ऐप वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड कैन एंड इंस्टॉल ऑर इन मोबाइल फोन एंड after that we will again tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one so in this video the first thing is that what is high look vision app high look vision app is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the camera on remote locations over the internet if we are talking about that how what is the purpose of this app by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera but able to access all its feature once you configured correctly you can see the multiple channel at a time you control the ptz camera you take the snapshot of the video you watch the recording of the cameras you save the live view of the camera and you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc so for this you should op and now we'll tell you that how you install and download and install on your mobile phone for that you should open app store and search for high look vision and after that you find the list you find the app here and you get the cloud like option just click on the cloud cloud like option and you start your app start downloading and it out it will automatically installed now if you uh if you think about see 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 the other app you should find option the get so what is the difference between this get and cloud is that if you installing it first time then you should option it get otherwise if you install previously and you want to you want to install it again like in my case you you find the option like get so if you find the option get you should click on get if you find option this cloud like you should click on this let the download to be finish and to be installed it will take a few second once it is installed and successfully downloaded then you should find the option open just click on that just click allow again click allow and click agree it by default select your region like india in my case just click okay now again click okay now i make a video just for education and training purpose so i don't waste time for registering you can register by your own the first thing you should do that you should click on the right top right corner plus plus option when you do this you find the option scan qr code manual adding online and device add to favorite and shared device i will tell you one by one so just click on this scan qr code when you did do this you find that your camera start and start scanning so if you are in front of the device device win dvr and vr wifi cam then you should log in your device and go to the network option and go to the platform access option over there you should find a qr code you should scan that qr code if someone send you that qr code you should select your gallery and fetch it so in this way if you are in front of the device you can add it okay now the second thing is manual adding when you click on the manual adding you find a two two option high look domain when you click on the high look when it asks for a serial number basically serial number is the number you find on the dvr sticker or your camera sticker or your nvr sticker when you turn around the dvr you find a serial number another way of finding serial number is by using this app and i will tell you later on this in this video how you get the serial number okay so you should insert that serial number and then proceed it asks for username and password you should enter lock device password and your camera comes online and if you want to select ip domain 
again like this so here it asks for a ip domain you can put any name here and you, it was asked for a address if you have a static ip then you should enter a static ip otherwise you, you should enter a local ip address again it asks for username and password please note that you should enter the username and password of the device and please leave the camera one it will automatically detect for example if you have a 16 channel nvr then it will detect 16 camera okay now click again and you click online device when you should click online device if your mobile device and your de and your device you are adding means your nvr and your mobile device both are connected to the same router or the same network then you should click online device when you click this you find that your device automatically det detect okay just click on this when you click on this you find a serial number I tell you that uh, previously in this video that how you i will i tell you that how you get the serial number by using this app so basically this is serial number the complete serial number is this not number so what you should do you should read the serial number and start and and hold down on the last character for example the last character is c in between for example d is seven c c so you should stop on c and after that you find the eight character eight numbers so eight number and this c is a your serial number so don't be confused so here you find the two option add to hit connect server for example if you want to see the your your device remotely then you should connect on add to hit connect server and if you want it locally then you should click on add so i just click on the add is r for username and password so here i should enter my username and password and click save now my device is, is added to my app just back it and here i find my device in this way my camera comes live now i will tell you option one by one what is this option if you starting from the left side just bottom of the camera you find the orientation option like mobile screen just click on this your camera will revert like that it comes into full screen and after that you find the four square basically this is to change the view of the camera for example if you want to nine camera view you it's, it's like that and now you find the option just double click sd and hd when you click on clear your camera become more clear but it take high bandwidth it may be slow when you click on as fluent it be it is more fluent but it takes less, less bandwidth and now you find the speaker so if you want to listen the voice of the camera and if your camera is audio enabled then you should click on that and after that you want to stop the live record live live view then click on this in this way you can stop the live view now starting from the again the bottom of that options you find the option playback just click on the playback it will redirect to you a recording page okay for example i want to check the recording of 25th then i find the recording in here okay for example i want to check the recording of 16 then means 4 a 4 pm then i will it, it will like that okay so in this way you can check the record and you can take the screenshot you can record the recording also and many things and if you check the recording in hd just click on the hd so this is way that how you check the record and after that you if you want to take a screenshot just click on this in this way you can take a screenshot if you want to live record the video just click on this just start recording you find that blue icon comes on the screen and start beeping and in this way you start st stop the recording now it is safe on your mobile device and if your device is two-way communicated then is click on this microphone and you want to communicate with the device now i will tell you that how you make your device miss dvr and vr online so that you can access from anywhere for that you should click on this manual adding and click on high look domain when you click for high do high look domain it asks for a serial number serial number you get from the dvi device box or sticker that stick on the device and from this app also while logging the dvr and we are also 
so by using this app if your device and your mobile device both are connected to same network then you should click on this online devices and after that click online devices and click allow now you see that your dvr is online like that just click on that here is serial number this is not the full name full serial number only a part of that is the serial number which i will tell you earlier in this video so i note down that serial number and again just go to manual adding and click high look domain and click for serial number and enter serial number now click save when you do this it asks for to login so here you need to login without login you cannot do this so i enter my password and click login and now click again save now it for access me give to add just click on add when when i click on the add it asks for a verification code verification code you see when you click on platform access okay enter that code and click add and click okay and here you should rename your device means if rename according to locations like in my case so that you can easily remember i here test device and click next when i click next just click skip your device comes online like that just click online like this okay so that's our all for before this video and all the option i will tell you earlier in this video thanks for watching thank you